Assuming the season resumes, and I think it will, and you guys actually crown a champion, and I think the NBA has the best chance to do it of any league, the Sixers um, are my sleeper pick. You guys came one miracle shot away. I think you probably would have won your next series, and then given what happened to Golden State with the injuries, you guys came pretty closer than people realized to winning a championship last year. Now, you lose Jimmy Butler. The chemistry hasn't quite been the same. Um, Embiid has not been the same guy on the road. I think he's load managing, kind of self-load managing, whatever. Where is your head, and have you spoken to your teammates about what lies ahead for the Sixers and what kind of shot you guys give yourself when play resumes? Yeah, so I, I've always been in contact with all my teammates throughout this process, and mainly just to make sure guys are in a good space mentally with, you know, asking them, hey, do you want to go hoop out here? Like, what are your, what's your opinion? And not really holding much judgment to it. Uh, at the end of the day, I believe that when we go out here and go hoop, we have a chance to win a championship. We're going to be healthy, a lot healthier than we were before, having been to be recovered and fully healed is big for us. And we just got to go out there and play basketball. Like, this, for us, is kind of like an AAU tournament. And we just got to go out and hoop and play our best and do what we do. But I really believe that we're going to have a clear-cut shot to win a championship, and I stand on that. With, Mo with Milwaukee, Toronto, Miami, Boston, how should we view what we've seen from the 76ers this year in terms of title contention in light of the fact that Jimmy Butler and J.J. Redick are gone. You playing lights out. You're averaging 19 a game, shooting about 47% from the field, about 36% from three-point range. You've been balling, Leading but clearly when we look at the 76ers, y'all saw, y'all seemed rather more formidable last year than you did this year without those two guys. How do you believe y'all should be viewed in the championship picture considering the circumstances that I mentioned? I just say, you know, and I keep it real, we haven't had the best chemistry throughout the whole year. It took us a while to kind of get everyone together. We battled injuries from the start to the end. And right now, if we're the sleeper, then we're the sleeper. Like, truth be told, how we're viewed, that's someone else's opinion. But I know when I look my guys in the eye and we have conversations, we got one goal in mind. That's to go out there and play and win a championship. So that's the only view that matters to me. So I'm with what people say, what people got to say about our team. I get it because we haven't met our expectations so far this year. But we have a new opportunity in Orlando to go out and just play ball and really, you know, scratch a new surface of what we can accomplish. Tobias, you mentioned that you haven't had the best chemistry early on, and that was just a really honest answer from you. Why was that? Uh, I mean, it's it's tough to say. Obviously, every team would love to come in with the best chemistry there is to get things running on, on day one and, and continue to just thrive. But truth be told, we, we've had new guys, new team. We have guys out with injuries. We had different personnel trying to mess with one another. So it's a process. And – for us, we understood that. But one thing I love about our team is we all kept it in our locker room that win or lose, we're going to respect each other and we're going to continue to push. And that's what we've always been about. So, you know, even through this pandemic time, we've took the time to really spend a lot of time with each other through Zoom calls, through group texts, and to really, uh, you know, build that type of chemistry in, in these moments. So I really feel when we get out there, we're going to have a, a, a refreshed feeling to get going. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.